becoming a successful fly fisher or just angling, any type of angling in still waters requires a basic understanding of lake structure, the anatomy of a trout lake. Because trout live in certain parts of the lake at certain times of the year, depending on water temperature and the amount of auctions that is available to them. It's safe to say that the two most important parts of the lake are the shoal drop-off zone, the shallow part of the lake, and then where it drops off into deep water, and then the deep water zone. So if you looked at a the perfectly designed lake, it would be like a shallow dish where you've got shallow edges gradually and then deepening off into the main soup bowl part of the lake. So you've got a combination of shallow water and then a deep water zone. The shallow water zone right to the edge of the drop off where it drops into deep water is extremely important because that's where photosynthesis occurs. That's where the energy from the sun penetrates to the bottom of the drop off and shoal area and allows all that green plant growth to flourish during the spring, summer and fall months. And all that plant growth provides quality habitat, not only for the food that, that trout are eating, but for the juvenile and sub-adult trout as well. So it's the grocery store. All the bugs are living in that shoal, shallow area, edge of the drop off. Now the deep water zone of the lake, the middle of the lake or the middle of the soup bowl is important during certain times of the, of the uh, trout season. And where it becomes really important is during the warmer summer months where we have a lot of interior lakes in British Columbia that will get a lot of heat, a lot of sun and the water warms up. Fish are cold blooded and they need to seek out optimal water temperatures where they're comfortable and there's sufficient oxygen to support themselves. So in the summertime, they slip off the shoal, shallow drop off areas down into the deeper portions of the area in the deep water zone of the lake. And that's where the water temperature is cool and well oxygenated. Now in a lot of small lakes, there's not oxygen right at the very bottom of the deep water zone of the lake. So that's where it becomes important to understand how to interpret your fishing sounder, fishing buddy or depth sounder that tells you not only the depth of water you're fishing, but it'll tell you where thermoclines establish, um, where there's stratification in the lake and where the fish are actually suspended. They may not be right at the bottom of the lake in the middle of the summer, simply because there's not a lot of oxygen. So there's a lot to understanding the different techniques to catch fish. But before you do that, you need to understand where the trout can live at certain times of the year in order to ensure that you're fishing water that does support trout.